<laughs> you know what this means? Hey guys, do you recognize where I'm at? I'm in my little infusion room. It's like a little corner. Um, it's actually just a little room within the like home care company that I'm that my some of my meds are through. And I don't know if you saw that. <laughs> you know what this means? It means that this guy is a loser. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I think I do know, actually. I think it's it's done. It's acting like it did right before Elijah was born, 18 months ago. Okay. Sorry, my nurse came in. I have no idea what I was saying, but probably I was talking about the port. Oh, I was, I think I may have been saying it's acting like it did 18 months ago, right before Elijah was born. And we thought, oh, it's a goner, it's not gonna work. Well, it's doing the same thing. Like I can flush it and then it stops. So it almost seems like the needle's hitting the back of the port. So then we try repositioning it, but it just like stops working basically. When they, when it was doing this last time, they did a port study and there was nothing. So, I don't know. Oh well, we'll see what happens. But in the meantime, that's what I'm gonna have to do. just told me they have coffee here and she offered they have like even a menu on the wall like it's legit I've never seen that I mean my nurse always offered me snacks that are kept back here but I didn't know there was coffee maybe that's new so but I'm fighting the uh the brain waves that are reminding me of when I would be in the hospital and the nurse would bring me coffee, which is so sweet. But my brain doesn't really want to go back to the hospital and have nurse coffee. Oh, here's my CF nurse. Okay, she's going to call me. <laughs> We're going to talk about the port. <laughs> I'll give you a tour really quick. Okay, ready? Front door. Nurse's station. Cabinet. Sink. Chair, shoes, legs, as normal, curled up, and coffee, 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 coffee. Isn't this awesome? It's just a little private room. I really like it. It's been very nice. Mm. Okay, I went to the bathroom and I must have bumped the IV just right, just not right and it hurts, so I have a heat pack on it, and that feels better. It's not infiltrated, we tested it, it's fine. And I only have like 25 more minutes on my um, IVIG. So, I just talked to my, my cystic fibrosis nurse, and um, she is going to schedule me for a port study, which is what we did uh, about a year ago, or was it? Oh, now I can't remember. What was the timing? I feel like, I don't remember, but I think it was about a year ago. It didn't show anything a year ago, but we need to just do it. The only way the port study will be helpful though, is if they can get any of the dye into my port, I believe. That's my guess, but anyway, this is what radiology to, or I think it's interventional radiology probably who does it. Um, so hopefully we can see what's going on with it. Bummer. Until then, I won't need IV access. I shouldn't need IV access for a month from now for my next IVIG, but we'll see what happens. I'll keep you guys updated. Um, we're just gonna keep taking the next step, as my shirt says. Okay, I'm back out in my car, getting ready to leave. Do you? 
hear this rain? It's crazy. Okay, got my peripheral out. I think the pain may have been like a nerve or something because then when she was taking the tape off, the tegaderm off, um, as the IV was kind of jostling, it was like, oh, like, oh my gosh. Like, I'm pretty used to medical pain and I was like, like I couldn't hold my reaction and she was being so gentle and so kind. Oh, yes. So that was a new, a new nurse for me and she was incredible. So, um, all three nurses I've met at this place have been incredible. So that's pretty cool. Okay, I need to turn the air conditioning off because I'm good on that. Okay. Okay, so I don't really know where I left off in there, but oh, I'm so glad that's out. That hurt! I'm gonna go home. Peter's gonna go to work. I'm going home to my babies and moving on with my day. I am going to try to flush this um, probably just when I get home because sometimes maybe if you just move, maybe this is the move, maybe this will make it work. I doubt it, but my CF nurse, I think I told you guys this, she is going to schedule me for a port study. I haven't found out when that is yet. And then we will just take it one step at a time, one step at a time. If you guys were around when I had my feeding tube removed, closed up, like surgically closed, that surgeon was incredible. And she said that whenever I need my port removed and put a new one in, that she would be willing to do it. Long story short, Typically, ports are done in IR with the patient awake, but I'm not comfortable with that. And my ports have never been put in or taken out while I'm awake. So I just, I know that because my port's been in there for over half a decade, it's gonna be in there. And so it's not just a simple like, oh, it's just been in for six months or a year, just slide it out, slide a new one in. Like, it's not gonna be that simple or it likely won't be. And I'm not willing to find out while I'm awake. So since I found a surgeon who does that, I'm like, yes. So even though it's nerve wracking to be like, oh, am I about to need to get this out and get a new one? I'm at peace with the thought that as long as the plan can remain what we had previously discussed that she would be doing it. I feel very thankful to have that little piece in place, that huge piece in place. <coughs> so I was thinking maybe while I'm vlogging, maybe the rain would like lighten up a little before I drive. There's so much water pouring down the street into that street hole, gutter hole, whatever it's called, sidewalk hole. It's crazy. I did want to tell you guys that I am going to VBS this Vacation Bible School at our church. And I'm a one-on-one -on -one with one of the campers, one of the students. And so I've been listening to the theme songs a lot, just so I can like sing along and dance along with it. And as I was driving here, some of the words, um, it's like, you've been with me from the start. You are the one who knows my heart. You are there for me, Jesus. Uh, what was it? I like wanted to take a mental note because those words, I was like saying it to myself. It wasn't those. You are showing me the way. Loving kindness every day, you are helping me, Jesus. So I'll follow you here and there and everywhere. Okay, I don't remember which lyrics felt impactful on my way here, but just reminding myself as I was driving in with unknowns, is my port gonna work? Is it not gonna work? Am I gonna be needing surgery? All of that. Just reminding myself, he's got this, he's got me one day at a time. 
so so I'm passing it on to you guys too one day at a time okay I'm gonna drive home now <clears throat> thanks for joining me this morning at my infusion and as always see you soon